Hi, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do the barbell bench press. Now, it's very a complex exercise, but very simple at the same time. Um, so there are gonna be the basic cues I'm gonna give you, and then the advanced cues are going to be towards the end of the video. So if you're looking at trying to enhance your bench press into a better uh, version, be sure to uh, watch the end video. So the basic version is for, uh, can be applied to beginners, male and females, because this will help carry over to you improving your push-ups and your overall upper body strength. So making sure that you're setting up the bench so it's nice and safe underneath the bar. And then when we are literally about to lift it off, we are trying to lift it off using the base of the palm. Okay, so where my little finger is, the base of the palm is where I'm trying to push through. The moment that I shift it to the middle of the hand is when you may start to incur wrist pain. So grip will depend on the person. Now, because I've been doing this a long time, I like to have an open grip. Now, is it safe? Most likely, uh, it's not the safest option. Um, hence why for most people, they should really make sure that they are gripping like a normal conventional grip. So again, thinking about that base point that I'm trying to place the weight through is that I will lift up the weight and I'm going to carry the weight over my chest. Once I'm carrying it over my chest and my arms are fully locked out, there's the cues that I need you to be aware of are my shoulders need to be away from my ears and my back is trying to squeeze the squeeze the bench. If my chest is not squeezing the bench and I'm lifting my shoulders are off, as you can see the difference. Once I'm here, I want to make sure that my feet are either my, on their toes or they are flat down. Okay, once you, these, these are the basic positions. Now the key point now is where to land the, the bar. You want to land it just in line with your nipple line or just below the chest. Now, as you can see, it gets a little bit more awkward as I go higher up the chest. So we need to make sure that when you're experimenting, you're finding what is more comfortable for you and that will be your natural landing point. As I am pressing, I'm always thinking about trying to press through that pressure point that I discussed and I'm trying to curve naturally not out, but naturally towards above my shoulders and then curving back naturally down to that landing point that I have found. Now, there are a lot of uh, complications people experience uh, during the bench press, shoulder pain and also wrist pain. So the key point is always thinking about how you hold it and then the second point is the landing point. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna talk about how to, an advanced technique to create an understanding of where are you placing most of the tension as you press. So when you're doing like a push up, you can feel the tension where you feel the muscles that are working when you press. Now we ideally want to focus on triceps, chest, shoulders. You don't want to be doing it shoulders, triceps and chest. So we want to focus on triceps first, chest, then shoulders. If you're feeling it a lot in the shoulders, then we're definitely dominating through the shoulders. Okay, so the technique point now, I want you to focus now, if you want the more advanced approach, is learning how to draw the bar into your chest using your back. So when you are practicing this exercise or getting through it, I want you to hold your hands in a straight line and start to squeeze your back as you draw it to that point where you're learning how to land it. And then you're going to push straight. Guess what? Using your back. Very, very difficult skill, but something that can actually add um, an improved element to your bench press. If you are looking to uh, sort of understand more, be sure to fire over a video so I can sort of assist you with that. 
I'm going to demonstrate now. Now, again, everything stays um, across the basic elements. I'm going to be doing sort of my toes up or being on my tiptoes. Again, good grip, pushing through the pressure point, the base of my palm. And what I'm going to focus on now is I'm going to draw my back in and raise my chest up to the bar. I'm going to hold, can you see I'm hovering and holding that tension and I'm learning how to draw and punch rather than try to power, lose that tension and shift it to the shoulders. I'm trying to hold that tension and draw and punch. <clears throat> now that is um, a very good way for you to help your back assist the exercise and something that you can sort of build for some people that are learning that technique you're better off using a lighter load uh, or even starting as the empty bar to practice that feel before you start adding the um, more load as you go along if you have any questions please please feel free to drop me a dm at any time